This is how I removed the third party and manifested my specific person back in under two weeks without doing any crazy manifesting techniques like the O method or repeating affirmations or even living in the end of the wish fulfilled. And if we haven't met yet, hey, I'm Paulina, I'm a manifestation coach. And for the past few years, I have helped thousands of women and men manifest their specific persons back, no matter what circumstances. When I decided that I wanted to manifest my specific person back, we had been in no contact for over six months and I was blocked everywhere and he was actually already in a new relationship. So he was already living together with a different woman, which we call a third party. I didn't let that stop me though and I also didn't entertain in my mind whether it was morally wrong or right to do that thing because... I was basically sabotaging a relationship, right? Because I'm a person that has always been following my intuition and following my heart as safe guidance rather than my mind. So here's what I did to make this happen. I got clear on my desire and what kind of relationship I wanted to create with my specific person. Because the relationship that we had before our breakup was pretty toxic, I'm not gonna lie. But after the breakup, when we were in separation, I realized that most of those issues and relationship struggles that we had was just coming from me because he was just reflecting me. He was just showing up in a way that reflected my shitty self-concept because I didn't believe that I was good enough. So I was constantly seeking that reassurance, constantly seeking that approval and that validation from him and other people. And I was a massive people pleaser. I was always showing up for him and other people. And I was always being super flexible with my schedule and uh, just working around my schedule for everybody else. There were also many times where my insecurities and my feelings of not being good enough got the best of me and caused me to do things that I'm not so proud of, like being super jealous for no reason. And so while in separation, I was doing a lot of self-concept work. I was working on myself and doing deep inner work because I realized that I don't want to have a relationship like this anymore. I don't want to experience these shitty patterns again. And so after getting clear on what kind of relationship I wanted to create, I was just focusing on myself. I was showing up for myself every day and I was just enjoying my life. And throughout the manifestation process, I was really just focusing on myself and focusing on my desire. I didn't focus on those circumstances and I also didn't focus on my specific person. But I didn't focus on being blocked. I didn't focus on there being a third party. I wasn't entertaining any stories or doubts in my mind of why the third party would be better than me or why it wouldn't be possible to get him back. I would say that I was just showing up in my power. I was basically just feeling unstoppable and feeling super confident after working on myself so much. And I was getting so much attention from everybody else before my specific person showed up. The way that he showed up was completely different from what I had imagined. And that's normally how it goes. He didn't unblock me on social media and he also didn't send me a message. During the whole manifestation process, I didn't see any movement, but I didn't let that mean anything about what I got to have or anything about my manifestation. I was just showing up for myself and doing things that I enjoy doing on a daily basis. And within a few weeks, we actually bumped into each other in a public place. And it was pretty unexpected how it happened.